Welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hangstress Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles in our inventory. We do not do consignment here. We own all of our cars. If you're watching us today on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website, hangsters.com. It's where you can find all of our most current inventory. We have thousands of subscribers to our YouTube channel who enjoy watching our content, what kind of uh, vehicles we move through our showroom month after month and year after year. Uh, and people like watching the videos, so we don't take them down. However, when a vehicle's funded in full, that vehicle comes down off of our website, letting you know that particular unit's no longer available. So if you go to our website and you don't see it, it's because it's sold. Also, Instagram, we're going to be posting vehicles such as this one to our Instagram page. Uh, this way you might be able to get a jump on your buying competition if you're in the market for a specific gear make and model. Also, there is a link there to our cool gift shop here in Daytona Beach. We have Hankster's apparel, hats, t-shirts, signs and banners, all kinds of man cave and garage related type stuff, items uh, for you to purchase. And we will ship those all over the country. So check that out, really cool stuff. We've really been working our asses off, to be honest with you, to find inventory. Um, Anybody that is in the car business, whether it's new car or used car, um, or is in the collector car hobby or collector car business, um, knows how hard it is to come by inventory right at the moment. And let me tell you something, we've been doing a good job of getting some really cool stuff, some really nice uh, inventory, and this one is one of those pieces, so let's check it out. We have a 1989 Pontiac Firebird Formula. Look at how clean the engine compartment is on that thing. Um, it is the original 305 motor. It is power steering. It is power brakes. And it does have AC. This car is red in color. It's a T-top car. Flip up headlights. We're going to take a look at the entire car uh, right now. So uh, I, I have not driven this car yet. We will uh, drive it here shortly. Um, we will see if the flip up headlights work. Uh, the nose piece of these, you know, Camaros from Firebirds and Trans Ams, these things are real sleek and sit low and have a tendency to take a lot of road debris and uh, stuff when you're, uh, when you're traveling and, and, and you're taking these cars up to speed. This uh, paint on the car in front here is really nice. Not perfect, you know, there's little imperfections there in the striping, um, but very, very nice uh, where, you know, these things have a tendency to want to flex and crack and take rock chips and stone chips and stuff like that. The, uh, I, you know, I'm not an expert body man. I'm not gonna tell you that uh, every, that this is the original paint, I believe it to be. Um, you know, maybe not every last inch of the car, but uh, for original paint, this car is going to present itself really nicely. You know, the hood might have been repainted. I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm not an expert body man, but um, the the overall paint presentation of this car is really, really nice. There's no uh, blistering, cracking, fading, anything in the hood. Same thing with the driver's side front fender. Really nice uh, paint on the uh, driver's side front fender. I do have Kumo radial tires on the car and of course the original factory Pontiac formula wheels. And I don't see any, um, you know, the wheels are in pretty, pretty nice shape as well. Um, we'll have still photos of the wheels on the website, so check that out. You do have dual mirrors that are painted the same color as the car. The uh, front window glass windshield uh, is tinted at the top there. And then uh, factory, of course, uh, Real nice, uh, no bliss, uh, cracks or chips or anything like that in the uh, in the front windshield. The driver's side window glass is tinted, along with the T-tops. You do have the formula there at the uh, lower side of the driver door. There, you do have a. Uh, body molding that uh, starts out on the driver's side front fender, continues on the door and a little bit onto the rear quarter. Let's take a look inside the car where you will find the original interior. Door panels in fantastic condition. Same thing with the uh, driver's side seat. 
The back seats on the Trans Ams, Formulas, Camaros have never really been much for room. That's why most of them uh, that you see, you know, in the uh, 80s and 90s, they're almost factory perfect because not too many people can fit back there except for kids or a very small adult. Uh, carpeting underneath the uh, floor mat in the rear there is in great shape. Same thing with the uh, carpeting driver's side front. Again, probably the original floor mats, they do have some stains on there from uh, obviously use, but uh, overall in pretty good condition. It does have an aftermarket Grant steering wheel. You do get the factory steering wheel with the uh, vehicle. It is in the trunk. We will show you that uh, here momentarily. Uh, T-tops are removable, of course. They do not leak. We will have still photos of the car with the T-tops off. The uh, T-top rubbers are all in good shape. I'll just show you guys real quick here. The T-tops pop off. Headliner under the T-tops is in good shape. Like I said, take a look at the still photos. That way you can really blow them up and study them. But uh, really nice uh, rubbers. The T-tops are in good shape, all that. Body fitment's amazing. It's because uh, the car's all original sheet metal. So it's all factory. Rear window glass does have defrost. Does have a rear spoiler that's in great condition. Your Pontiac Firebird logo there where I have the keys. Again, rear bumpers. They have a tendency to do two things since they are fiberglass. They flex and the paint cracks and they have a tendency to want to paint fade. There is a little bit of paint fade on this, on the driver's side there. It's not terrible, but it is, you know, there. But again, I, I believe this car to be mostly original paint. Third brake light up top there. The, uh, your, uh, Body molding there on the rear bumper, the black portion is in fantastic condition. You have your formula badging there on the passenger side. We're going to, this is electric, so I'll pop this. The motor does work. Your uh, hydraulics there that always have a tendency to go bad on the Camaros and the Trans Ams and the Firebirds, they are functioning. You can see it's holding up on its own. It rises on its own. There is the original steering wheel. We will not take that out. That'll come with the car. Your T-top bags, if you want to put your T-tops away. Carpeting in the uh, rear compartment is fantastic. Again, it's all original. It's in really nice shape. You can see your uh, trunk light illuminates there when we open up the rear hatch. You do have your privacy pole there. If you want to uh, you know, hide whatever you're smuggling in your hatch, that way uh, it just latches here on its two latches. When you put the uh, rear hatch lid back down, it uh, electric closes as well. Passenger side body fitment is the same as the driver's side because again, I mentioned this is all original quarters, doors, fenders, hood, it's all original. Take a look in the passenger side of the car. Uh, the door panels, absolutely amazing. Check out the uh, plastic on the top of the door panel, the uh, uh, carpeted portion of the door panel, the uh, cloth portion, not even remotely stained. I mean, it's like almost like showroom condition. The uh, passenger side seat, much of the same. Check out there's no holes. There's no tears, no, there's no discoloration. The uh, passenger side floor mat's obviously in much better shape than the driver's side because the driver's side gets a lot more use. We'll take a closer look at the interior of the car when we're on the test drive. It does have that uh, carpet up there on the dash. We will take that off for you, let you look underneath there and see if uh, the dash is in good shape or if it's all cracked up. Formula there on the lower portion of the Passenger side door, just as it was on the driver's side. There's a little like rub mark right there in the paint. It looks like somebody's brush touched. Maybe somebody clipped something in the garage or something. It's very minute. You can't 
back away three feet, you can't see it, but in my fluorescent lighting here with the uh, shadows and light glare being cast on the car, you can see it. So it has a little touch up up front there on the uh, passenger side fender. This is an awesome car. Very, very nice. Uh, when you're looking for a classic car, you know, maybe you grew up wanting one of these or you had one of these and you want it back or maybe you just are a, a Pontiac person and you think it's a cool car. Uh, this is unmolested, you know, original motor, original tranny, original interior, original paint, original sheet metal, uh, a lot of originality to it. And these uh, formulas and Camaros and Trans Ams, the first gens have always been extremely hot. First gens are through the roof right now, 67 to 69. Uh, but the 70s models and the 80s models, they're all on the climb right now. So if you want to get yourself a sports car that you can invest in and enjoy, that's not going to depreciate and it's going to actually appreciate in value, maybe you buy it as an, as an investment. I'll tell you what, I wish I would have bought some, uh, you know, Fox bodies a couple of years back where I could have bought them cheap and in about 10 years they're going to be worth probably triple the money they're doing today. It's just really amazing how these cars are increasing in value. Don't just take my word for it on this formula. Uh, visit our showroom here in Daytona Beach. I encourage you guys, if you are buying a car from us, come check it out in person. This way you can see the paint firsthand. You can check out the interior. We'll let you drive it. You can see how the car performs. We will rack it. You can check out what the undercarriage looks like. We do it on a daily basis. Uh, we have this beautiful facility here in Daytona. So not only uh, people local here to Daytona on vacation can visit us and take a look at our extensive collection of inventory, but also so people can fly in from around the globe and check out our uh, beautiful classic car collection and any vehicle that they might be interested in purchasing. I've shipped cars to Germany, Australia, France, uh, Sweden, California, Texas, Massachusetts, you name it, the list goes on and on. And uh, I've had many people that have bought multiple cars from us that I've never to this day met in person. Because our business model is online. We've been doing it for over 20 years where we take 100 photos of every car, uh, you know, close to 100 photos. We do these 20 minute, 30 minute video presentations. We have an in-depth description of each vehicle. Uh, we sell a lot of cars month after month and year after year sight unseen. And we've been successful in doing that for over 20 years. So hopefully that tells you something about how we run our business here. But again, when you're buying a classic car, whether it's this 1989 Formula or a 1969 Camaro or a 70 Roadrunner or whatever you're buying, um, if you come in person, it, you get a much better handle on you know what the car actually is that you're buying and you know firsthand what you're spending your hard-earned money on there's no surprises when the car arrives let's take it around the building we'll, we'll throw this awesome 1989 formula in the air and check out what the undercarriage looks like and then we'll do everybody's favorite part after that which is drive it when you see our photo shoots and video shoots of the undercarriage of our vehicles we typically detail our undercarriages we power wash them we paint the exhaust, we paint the floor pans, the suspension components, because nobody wants to see surface rust when they're looking to buy a, a car. You know, I get asked all the time, well, what are you trying to hide? It's like, what can you hide with paint? If you guys can show me how to hide a, floor, uh, a hole in a floor pan with a can of paint, I'd love to see it. But um, this particular undercarriage, we didn't touch. This is just how we got the car. So uh, that's kind of why I'm pointing this out. Um, you know, this is just what, uh, what kind of quality this vehicle is. So, Disc brakes up front. The uh, bottom of the, you know, with, with it being 38,000 original miles on this car, I doubt the, uh, you know, the oil pan or the uh, engine's ever been out, you know, so bottom of the motor looks real good. Uh, transmission pan. Everything's uh, looking good there. I don't see anything leaking. Uh, floor pans are obviously uh, original, factory. Again, this is the way that we uh, bought the car, just the way you see it. The drive shaft's in good shape, continuing back, you know, on the uh, floor itself and on the frame rails. Uh, the floor pans are all one piece. Uh, you know, the frame rails look good. See, like, things like this. Like, see the uh, fuel filter here? Like, we didn't paint it. You know, this is surface rust on here. This is... You know how we got the how we got the vehicle. Um, drum brakes in the rear. 
Uh, rear end looks nice there. It's not leaking anything. Got the uh, Borla exhaust system, so it looks like somebody has, you know, put at least a portion of the exhaust new on the, uh, you know, didn't come from the factory with a Borla exhaust on it. Uh, the uh, This would be the area here where, you know, your uh, T-top bags are, of course, and, you know, spare tire over here, donut spare. Uh, probably original, probably not real, you know, good anymore unless I doubt somebody bought a new donut spare, so it's probably worthless, but there is a spare in there. Uh, the uh, tires on the car don't appear to be dry rotted or cracking, so that's a good thing. It's a nice looking car, uh, a great piece of history. We are going to set it on the ground here in just a couple minutes and we're going to go drive it. But before we do that, I'm going to tell you guys that uh, financing is available on this car. We do not do in-house financing, however, we do work with three different collector car lenders that can get you into this car over a five to eight year payment term with approved credit, of course. They're gonna require you to put 10% down of the purchase price and then the remaining balance is gonna be funded by them. They'll wear us the money. Once the car is funded in full, it gets put through a pre-delivery inspection process. This process is recorded. We, you know, we check all the fluids and go over the car one last time prior to departure. And then uh, once the guys tell me it's through inspection and ready to go, we call a carrier for pickup or call you and let you know it's ready if you're picking it up yourself or sending your own carrier. If you're a cash buyer, the process is much the same. You know, uh, financing takes, you know, if you're, if you're real quick on your paperwork, uh, the lending institutions we deal with can typically have us funded in 48 hours. If you're a cash buyer, we accept cash. If you're physically coming to see us here in Daytona, we'll take a certified bank check from your bank. And we also, of course, do bank wire transfer when we're doing things sight unseen. That's the most common form of payment simply because the funds are there the same day and we can start processing your car for shipment. The uh, cars get processed for outgoing inspection and you know, outgoing shipment in the order that they're funded. So uh, you know, there might be two cars in front of yours. There might be six cars in front of yours depending on the uh, funding timeline whether again cash or financing and so on and so forth. But the whole process is relatively quick. Uh, the car will land in your driveway or in your garage a lot sooner than you might think. Uh, we, we work fast, uh, we, you work fast, we work fast, and you can generally, depending on where you're at in the United States, can have your car in uh, three to 10 business days. Again, a lot of it's gonna be dependent upon where you're located in the, uh, in the United States. If we're exporting the car, obviously it's going to be longer than a couple working days. You know, we've we've set cars sail into uh, Australia and New Zealand across the pond there to Europe. Um, you know, and that, that's a little bit longer time. But if you're in the uh, United States here, uh, we can get a car out relatively quickly. Even going to California is, you know, eight to ten business days from the time it leaves Daytona. Let's set it down on the ground. 1989 Pontiac Firebird Formula. We'll take it out in the Florida sunshine and we'll show you guys how the car runs out inside of our 89 Trans Am. Where do we want to start? How about door locks? Well, the button's stuck on the driver's side door lock here, so it works, but it's like, oh, there it goes. Okay, just needed it worked. Tilt wheel. 38,013, that is the actual miles on this car on the title. Actually, on the title's 23,000 miles. Wipers. Not going to run those across a dry windshield too long. Um, turn signals. Driver. Passenger. Tack. Battery voltage and fuel both work. Temps coming up, we just started the car. Radio works. Look at that, the original Delco radio. Journey. AC, let's see if the AC in this car works. Oh yes it does. How cool is that? We don't need it today, it's too cold. Do these mirrors work? Let's see here. Driver's side. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it through the tent. Hopefully you can hear it. How about the passenger side? Look at that. Uh, windows? Yeah, driver's side. I'm going to leave that cracked. 
passenger side. T-top covers are in. T-tops come out. Check out the still photos of the T-tops. This is a fantastic car. Let's pull this dash off here. Look at that. Like brand new. This car's been very well cared for. 38,000 original miles. This would be one to snatch up. For you guys looking for investment, this would uh, probably be a good car to look into. And uh, we'll, our retail asking price, hang on to this thing for eight to 10 years, you'll probably be double it with the way these uh, cars are appreciating. It's, it's really quite remarkable. I think I might start buying some to keep, not sell. Let's drive it. Like I said, I can't overstate enough how nice this car is. Look at, no hands on the wheel. Perfectly, perfectly straight. Response is incredible, almost instant. The speedometer is functioning and is right on the money. By the way, um, we do not have a horn because it's an aftermarket steering wheel. Uh, I'll try to get a horn working through the wheel. Otherwise, I'm not gonna drill a hole in the dash to put a button in. That's probably why the original steering wheel is not on it. I'm just guessing we bought it this way, but you know, those pads always had a tendency to wanna go bad. Um, anyways, just short story for you on horns. You know how much I love horns. Really fantastic car though. We're coming up to a uh, stop light here. We're gonna see how the uh, brakes perform. I'm sure it's like the rest of the car. This thing's really nice. Anytime you can buy a classic car or collector car, look at that, no hands on the wheel, stopping perfectly straight. Anytime you can buy a classic car or collector car that's been unmolested, that's a great, great thing. Running through the gears. It's only a 305. It's not a hot shot, but at least I'll get it up to you know 60, 65 for you guys. Training shift perfect. Okay, I'm gonna start catching up to traffic, but if we can get the speedometer shot, we're at you know 60 miles per hour there. Coming down now, so I don't rear end this Malibu in front of me. It's a nice vehicle. It's red. It's 38,000 original miles. The dash is in great shape. You have AC. You have T-tops. T-tops don't leak. You have the original interior. You have the original steering wheel if you want to put it back on. There's no rips or tears in any of the seats. It's the original motor. The motor hasn't been yanked out of the thing. The tranny hasn't been messed with. I always feel great when somebody gets a great car, and this will be a great car for somebody. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone number here in Daytona Beach. Hangsters.com is our website. We're going to put all the photos of this 89 formula up on our website today for you guys to uh, look at, blow them up real big, and look nice and close. We're also going to put this video presentation that we're doing for you. Not only is the uh, video presentation on YouTube, but every single one of our cars has a link uh, to look at the video on our website and not just YouTube. So, At full retail price, this 89 formula includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a 12-month, 12 12,000-mile 12, powertrain warranty. It is not a bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty. It's powertrain, so that's engine, transmission, and rear end. It's good at any ASC certified facility in the United States, so you don't have to take it to a General Motors dealership. You don't have to bring it back to Florida, although some of you might like to with our weather versus your weather up north. And uh, you don't have to bring it back to Angster's Hot Rods. You could probably take it to the same person that's working on your daily driver. The prices of our cars are somewhat negotiable. However, if we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. So don't ask if you can get the warranty at a negotiated price, because the answer is no. Also, the shipping is included at full retail price. If we negotiate the price of the car, we can certainly help you facilitate the shipping. However, you'll pay the driver on arrival with cash or check. They don't take credit cards. If you're a collector, 
or hobbyist that has your own carrier, maybe you have one that you've used in the past that you really had a uh, good experience with, you're welcome to use your own carrier. That isn't going to hurt my feelings in the least. We do not uh, mark up the shipping. We do not have our own uh, carriers, own trucks, anything like that. Uh, so you can, you're more than happy to use your own carrier. Also, if you have your own trailer, you can come trailer home if you'd like. And of course, if you're local to us here in uh, Central Florida, you can certainly come to our showroom and uh, drive this vehicle home. We would love to earn your business, earn you as a customer, and add you to our customer base, not only throughout this great United States, but throughout the entire world, all over the globe. We ship, we export, we can, we can get a car to Canada for you, Germany, New Zealand, Australia, Sweden, Switzerland, and on and on and on. There's a cool Corvette. C8. Hanksters Hot Rods is located in sunny Daytona Beach, Florida. And one last time, our website is hanksters.com. Please check us out.